In the last session, we began our discussion on the notion of derivative for the functions of single variable. Now, what happens if you have a function of multiple variables? So, now we introduce the concept of partial differentiation. Partial derivative of a function f of multiple variables with respect to a given variable x is defined as del f del x equal to limit h goes to 0 f of x plus h comma y comma z minus fx comma y comma z divided by h where other variables y z are kept fixed as you see it here. Let us now consider an example where we compute partial derivative. So for the given example as you see it here when you compute the partial derivative of u with respect to x we treat y to be a constant and you get the answer as you see it here. And similarly, if you are computing partial derivative of u with respect to the variable y, then you treat x or any other variables as constants. So, we can now define second order partial derivative as you see it here. Using definition of derivative, we can establish that partial derivatives commutes. For example, if you take a function of two variables say x and y and if you compute partial derivative first with respect to the variable y and then with respect to the variable x, then this is equivalent of carrying out that partial derivative with respect to x at first and then y at second. This is an important result. I am leaving it as a suggested exercise to work out. Let us now consider an example where we compute partial derivative. we can define total differential of a function of multiple variables. Say you have a function u which is a function of two variables say x and y. So, total differential can be expressed in terms of the partial derivative of the given function. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. In case you have any question, comment or suggestion, please feel free to write them below in the comment section. And if you like to follow the physics discussion here, then you are welcome to subscribe to this channel.